Hey guys, one message channel. My name is Marcus today. We are going to be drawing another YouTuber today, so I am so excited, guys. I just want to first start off by saying I am really enjoying this series. It's always just been, it's like, it's really fun. So, yeah, um, I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it as well. And yeah, um, today we are drawing Think Noodles. Um, this is a YouTuber that I watch all the time. He is honestly, he's really awesome, you know. Um, I will say, I really, really, really love the diversity on his channel. Um, he doesn't only do Roblox content, which I think is amazing. Like, he also does um, uh, escape games and horror games and other things like that. So, yeah, and he also has the Fan Choice Friday, you know, um, letting his fans, you know, choose what game he plays. So, that is actually a really fun and creative series that I, um, you know, see on his channel all the time, which I think is amazing. I never know what to recommend. So, yeah, which is fine because, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, um, his channel is really awesome. He's actually the person that inspired me to play many other escape games on the channel. For example, I'm um, Kitty and Guessy, and there's like a few others. Um, you know, they are like Piggy, which I thought was really cool. So yeah, I just I really do enjoy you know playing escape games and the diversity of them is really awesome. So yeah. Now I will say this one took three hours and twenty nine minutes, so almost three hours and a half to um complete, which I was actually very um you know pleased. But I feel like you know my range is always within three to four hours when I do you know I'm drawing YouTubers, which I think is actually really really cool. You know I always want to take my time to like really make sure it looks awesome and polished. So yeah um. I've been watching Think for two years now. I just want to say his content is like really awesome, you know. Um, he just makes me laugh all the time, and it's just so creative and fun, you know, to watch him. Like I can literally sit there and just watch him for like hours, you know, like literally anything. So yeah, um, that is just another reason as to why I really like you know his channel and him as a YouTuber. And yeah, now I of course you know reference his Roblox character and um you know his channel icons and everything like that. So yeah, um, you know I always do that just to make sure I get them right. And yeah, um, now with this one, I was debating on like whether I should do black lines for this because like it, there was so many things coming out weird with this one. I wasn't sure, but then I decided to just stick with my um, you know, multi-colored line art, and I think you know it turned out pretty well. And yeah, um, I might start you know moving into like the black lines direction for like the art piece if I need to, because I feel like you know sometimes it does look a little strange and hectic, and then it does look like a little confusing and a little weird. Like for example, the shirt, I feel like you know. It could have looked better, but yeah, um, I do want to try to do that. I was actually very impressed, like, with the um ideas I had for this one, cause at first I was just gonna have them like you know standing in a regular pose, like I have done with everybody else. But um, for this I decided to make him sit in a bowl because you know he loves noodles, so why not have him sitting in a bowl of noodles? And yeah, and of course I've seen like you know this online, so I wanted to try that out. And yeah, um, I of course you know create his classic um hat koala hat i think it looks awesome i wanted to do something different with that i wanted to make it look realistic but yeah i'm um, also i finally decided to go with wrinkles on the clothing and i felt like you know this is my best attempt at that so let me know down below if you think it looks good right now and i'm not sure on like if it's i know i know it's not the best but yeah i definitely did try to do that you know and i could have did better i could have added more wrinkles you know but um yeah that is my best attempt at this i feel like yeah now I will say the shirt was actually very very difficult for me to make at first because you know I was trying to figure out whether I was trying to get the right shape you know for it so yeah the wrinkles were not easy to draw but I'm glad that I did it and also I decided to have him holding a noodle in his hand because you know why not. Now I will say that the arms do look a little strange here I could have made them look a little curvier I was trying to make it look like an elbow so yeah um, I apologize about that um so I, I will be working to get better at that because you know. Once I'm done with something in a project and I don't go back to fix it, I'm like, I'm scared because I don't want to mess it up. So that's why I never go back to fix it. And plus, I already made the changes. So I wouldn't be able to like, you know, go back and like undo everything I did anyway. So yeah, um, I'm sorry again about that. But you know, yeah. Um, At first, I was debating on whether I should make a hoodie for um, like, you know, his clothing. Or if I should just do like a shirt. I decided to go with the shirt because I didn't really, you know, like on his Rolex hair chair, it does look like a hoodie. But um, when I seen other pictures on online it looked more like a shirt so yeah i decided to go with this classic shirt um and on minecraft it looks like a shirt as well so yeah um this is like a mine this is like minecraft skin and his um Rolex skin so yeah um that is awesome at first i was debating on whether i should have like his eyes open and smiling or if, if i should like you know do the same thing that i did with bigby have his eyes closed so he would be like you know eating noodles like that and yeah um the mouth was difficult as well to make because like i was debating on the, for the longest time on how i wanted to go i tried drawing teeth okay and it looked very scary so yeah that was something that i was uh you know debating and i was scared because i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to you know get it down right so yeah 
Now I will say the mustache, I was actually really nervous to make the mustache, like and like the beard as well. Like whenever it comes to me drawing facial hair, I, I don't know. Like I, I just it, it's always it always comes out strange for me, you know, on like the first few tries. And I wasn't sure what color to use. At first I was going to use black because I thought that was like the class. I thought I had to use that, but then I decided to go with brown because I felt like that looked better. And I actually um used a different picture um for like the second, you know, roundabout than the first one, because you know, this one was just it was not looking good for me on the first go around so yeah but i'm glad that i um fixed it up and i polished it and i made it look like an actual beard and mustache so yeah and i decided to of course you know tune the mouth because it was looking strange like that the way i had it originally like it i wanted it to look like he was eating noodles but then i decided to just change it and make it look like he was like smiling um and i decided to add a tongue in you know because yeah um i felt like teeth would look very very scary so yeah um don't ask me why i don't know it just looked very creepy when i was drawing it there so yeah um i did not want anybody to witness that very very creepy smile so yeah um now with the bowl at first i was going to go with um his classic design that you see on his um i think it's called youtube's so yeah but i decided just to um write his like you know initials on there you know think noodles of course so yeah and i decided to make them orange for like you know the representation of noodles and yeah um at first i was going to have like this like little squiggle on the bowl to represent a noodle but then i decided it looks like um it was a part it looked like you could see through the bowl so i just decided to make it um all like full on orange at the top there so yeah um that was something that i was messing around a lot with and of course the tea did not look like a tea so i had to move that around and fix that up and just you know do all the things and yeah um now on uh, the hat i had to like you know fix up i will say this one another thing about this was that when i was doing like diagonal lines and like you know curves and stuff like that i was actually really you know torn on what to do on what pen to use because like the um dip pen that actually is it like is very blurry so if i try to use that um it will the picture would have came out very blurry but with the pen i use regularly it looks like very unpixely like when i you know do curves so yeah um that's like something that i was debating on the for the, like the longest time and that's probably the reason as to why it took so long um to like get, you know actually make the shirt and everything because i was still debating what to do so yeah um but at the end, I just decided to go with my regular pen, and I was like, okay, maybe if you zoom out, it doesn't look too bad. And I was right, it didn't look too bad, so I was happy about that. And yeah, um, now with the thin lines, I actually um did incorporate some pretty thin lines. for In this one, for example, the hats, I made the lines pretty thin. I didn't want to make them too thick, because, you know, I feel like, you know, thick lines, although I did enjoy using them, I, I don't know, like, they look very strange. Like, again, you can be more flexible with thin lines, so that's why I decided to, you know, take the more thinner side, you know, the more thinner approach. And yeah, um, and i had so much fun with the shading on this one again i really love shading I, i've said this like in every single one that i've done but i really love shading like shading is just so so much fun and yeah um i would say the shirt was the hardest part to shade because of like the different colors that i had to use and there was like no lines you know like line art that i had um done on there to like you know um make it distinguished but i did um in the end just like shade it you know with different um and different like you know um patch like as you would say so yeah i was glad that i did that um, um, and yeah, I will say I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone for this one. I did try different things out, and I was glad with the um, way that came out the end. And of course, I was going to try to add a nose, but I did not. So sorry about that, because it looks weird with the nose. So yeah, but right now, I am currently just adding in the noodles. You know, it's raining noodles in the background. And yeah, guys, sign the names. And yeah, guys, this is Thing Noodles. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much again for watching. This was so much fun. Here is Thank. I hope you guys um enjoy. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys like it. Let me know down below what you guys think of this on a scale from 1 to 10. And yeah, guys, um, I'm really enjoying the series. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support on it. It's honestly so much fun. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Mark, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!